You know, as a pastor, I've been a pastor for 24 years, and I've pastored in churches of about 50. I'm in a church about 1,000. I've seen every level, every, from 50, you add 51, 52, 53, I've seen every level. And um, I've always pastored in rather difficult situations. Um, where I pastor now in San Francisco, um, there tends to be a, a culture amongst the, the church that I have. It's, a, it's an ethnic church. I also pastor in, a, in the city of San Francisco, which is not kind to Christianity. So adversity is seemingly all around. On top of that, I tend to have a, a, a sort of introverted, uh, sad-looking uh, demeanor within me, which does not help being placed in those situations. So you could say I fight maybe three different types of diversity, uh, adversity, I would say, in, in, in ministry. I have found that what has really gotten me to the point where I can minister for 24 years uh, and have done it faithfully is the reliance upon the Word of God. It is very easy to um, deal in the flesh or to start learning new techniques about doing ministry. But what I have found that would guide the church and would help lift me up in the most difficult times is when I proclaim the Word of God. Because the Word of God is not only for my congregation, the Word of God is for me. It will strengthen me, it will strengthen them. You cannot go wrong doing that. You may not have a large church, you may still face adversity in the city that you live in, but you cannot go wrong proclaiming the Word of God. And through it, you may see fruitfulness, you may see great transformation, you may see very little of it. I have found that the hope that I have in the proclamation of the Word is not tied into the success that I see, though we would all want and, and all pray for that type of, of, of a visual success we see in this world, but it is a faithfulness so that when I see uh, our Lord, he will say, you know, you, you, you kept to my word and you were faithful and, you know, you were my servant. I, I, I think to, to understand that Jesus could say that to me, oh, oh, that, that, that's, I, I would think that's the most wonderful motivation there can be in terms of being faithful to his word and uh, teaching it through all different types of trials and troubles.